Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about how to do linear regression using Excel. And I come back every week and discuss new problem in math. My only goal is to help you succeed in math. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right corner. So again, please subscribe to my channel and I'll get started. So the first thing I will do is share my computer screen with you. So this is a problem on linear regression. The data, the X data consists of calories and the Y data consists of cholesterol. We want to fit a best fit line or we want to fit the line of least square regression or least square regression between X and Y. Best fit line between X and Y or least square regression between X and Y. So how do I do that on Excel? So the first thing I will do is I go to the home button and click on it, okay? And then So I go to the file button actually, file on the, so here it is. So here is the data. I hit the file and then go down on the left green column to options and hit enter. And then I go down. Actually I click on add-ins, okay? So I click on add-ins and I want to click on this analysis tool pack, okay? And hit okay, okay? Once I do that, then in the main screen, if I go on data, I should be able to see a data analysis tool pack. Let's see if I can see that or not. No, I don't see the data analysis tool back under data. Okay, so let's go to home button. Actually, let's go to file. Let's go to options. And I go down and I click on add-ins. I want to do data analysis, Excel add-ins go so i clicked on excel add-ins at the bottom left corner and i hit on analysis tool pack and i hit okay now if i go to data data tab on the top row i will see the data analysis tool pack okay and my goal is to do regression so this window opens up under data analysis which i added in to my Excel, this was already in Excel, I just had to add it in and I do regression. I click on regression and then hit okay. Okay, it asks for my input Y range. So Y is cholesterol data, okay. And then it asks for input X range and I click on here, okay. So, also remember, actually my cholesterol X data is from here to here, right? Okay, also remember the first row, which is A2 and B2, two rows, A, actually uh, one row, second row and columns A and B, so A2 and B2, 
they both contain labels okay so i say labels actually my x is not yet fixed okay now i go on labels and hit enter so i click on labels because the first row consists of the labels uh, second row first column is calories second row second column is cholesterol so those are the labels okay uh, suppose um, i want to calculate uh, uh, I want to do all this and I can do and click on the output range or it will automatically go to a next screen. Uh, new worksheet ply is already clicked in. Suppose I want to do uh, residuals also. Remember residuals is the difference between Y actual values and the Y predicted values. The Y predicted values will come from the regression equation, okay? So residual is Y actual minus Y predicted for each value of X, okay? Uh, I'm more interested in doing a, uh, let's leave it at this. I will not do the residual, residual plot initially. So let's uh, click okay. Let's see what we get. Okay, so this is the summary output we get from regression. Okay, so the few things we are interested in is the multiple R value. R value is positive 0.725. It's a strong positive correlation between X and Y. Look at the R square value, 0.526. Multiply that by 100%. R square means 52.6% of the variation in Y can be explained by the linear regression model, okay? And then we look for these two coefficients. So we go to the, go to the bottom table. Under coefficients, the intercept is 22.765. And the coefficient for calories is 0.068. So the equation of the regression line is y hat equal to 0 0.068 times calories plus 22.7649. 0 0.068 being the coefficient of calories, it's the slope actually. And the y-intercept is 22.7649. Okay, now let's get back to the original data. Suppose I want to fit a line and see this fitted line, I want to see it in a diagram. So what do I do? First, I will highlight these, okay? Then I will click the insert button and then I highlight charts, okay? And I will select the scatter plot. So this is the scatter plot. Your cholesterol is Y and X is of course calories, okay? Now, suppose I want to see the fitted line. I point my cursor to any one of the data points and then right click on it, okay? Then I right click on it, okay? And there's an option, add trend lines, okay? So that's your trend line. Now it has fitted a linear regression line between the data points. Suppose you want to see the equation of the linear. So display the equation on chart and display R square values on the chart. So let's move this a little bit on this side. So the equation is the same as what we got before. Y is equal to 0 0.068X. This Y is the Y hat means predicted Y is equal to 0 0.068 times X. X remember is the independent variable, which is calories, okay? And plus 22.765, this is the intercept of the straight line equation. Look at the R square value. The R square value is 0.526 or 52.6% of the variation in Y can be attributed to the linear regression model, okay? So R square is called coefficient of determination. And we also saw the value of the R in the previous Table. So R is 0.725, it's called a correlation coefficient. Anything greater than 0.7, you might say a strong 
positive relation between x and y, okay? But R square value is only 52.6% of the variation in y that can be attributed to the linear regression model or can be explained by the linear regression model. And remember the intercept is 22.7649 and the coefficient of x or the slope is 0 0.068, same as what we got over here, okay? So basically I highlighted the x and y data, then went to insert, insert chart, and I selected scatter plot, and then I fit a line, okay? You right click on any one of the data points and it will give you the option to fit a trend line, which I did and it put the line between the points. And then I went to this chart and said, I want to display the R square value and the equation on the chart. So this is that easy. I will stop here today. And if you have any question, please do not hesitate to paste or post a comment. And please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week to solve new problem in statistics and algebra. My only goal is to help you succeed in math. So please subscribe to my channel. Don't, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel. You just have to click on the right button, bottom button, which says subscribe, okay? And I'll appreciate that. And I'll come back next time with another problem. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a nice day. See you next time.